Whitney Houston was a child of northern New Jersey. Today, Newark Mayor Cory Booker said that Houston went from a local church to the global stage. Michelle Miller retraces her steps from childhood. A couple, a couple of years Michelle ago. Richardson lived um, down the block from Whitney Houston so in East Orange, New Jersey. She says their childhood together seems like yesterday. Now I'm still at the state that I don't believe it. Like, I really want somebody to say it's not happening. All were welcome in the Houston home, she says, where gospel singing sissy and her husband, John, raised four children in a strict but loving household. She wasn't one of those celebrities that grew up and forgot where she came from. Everybody in the neighborhood would just come, jump in the pool, and turn into a barbecue. And then Neighbor brother, Rolando yeah. Toon and his mother knew her only by a childhood nickname. Nippy is all I knew, you know. I never knew Whitney until she made that first big album. When Houston made it big, the town renamed its elementary school after her. But it was a few miles away in Newark, where Houston first found her voice in the choir at New Hope Baptist Church. Words came fresh before she sounded. But she had a voice like an angel, you know. A voice childhood friend Tracy Mumford witnessed in action at Houston's first club date in New York City. She sounded like um, a grown woman. She turned the place out. Mumford also attended what was supposed to be the Struggling Stars comeback concert in Central Park three years ago. She grabbed my face like this and, um, and she kissed me on my forehead. I said, you know, this concert is not about you singing. It's really about you taking your life back. Though some say she never really did, Harlem's Apollo Theater was quick to show its respect. This was where she filmed her debut album video for The Greatest Love of All. Ty Woodson broke into tears after hearing the news. I want people to remember her, 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 her music, her legacy, and no one can ever take that away from her. And she will always be dignified as one of the true legends of music. Keisha Burks and Tradina Dow grew up listening to that music. She's going to be greatly missed by everyone in the community and as a whole. Gone too soon. Gone, exactly. A legend gone too soon. Gone, but always remembered in her hometown. Michelle Miller, CBS News, East Orange, New Jersey.